Today on Am I To Me A Guy, we'll be building the Express Execute XQ2S. So please subscribe and let's get started. So for step one, you need bags A and F and hardware A and B, and we'll be starting off with the turnbuckle assembly. When I'm building turnbuckles, I usually put just a tiny bit of green slime into the eyelet before I put the actual turnbuckle in. It just makes them smoother and easier to screw in. Express includes this handy dandy little spacer so you can check exactly what your turnbuckle measurements are. So it's a nice little touch as well as using the manual where it shows the uh, 14 millimeters. Turnbuckles are built and now we'll go to step two, building the gear diff assemblies. When I'm seating the O-ring into the diff, I like to use a little green slime to help it seal. Here's the gears all dropped into the casing. Now I'm finally putting the two halves together and when I'm tightening these screws down, as you can see, I like to kind of go in sequence and tighten slowly each one, not just uh, put the first one down all the way so it's a nice even uh, set of pressure as you put the discs together. Our diff is now complete and we'll move on to building the spool assembly. So one thing to note if you, when you're doing the pulley cover here is you've got this one little piece that's bigger than the rest and uh, there's individual holes on the pulley. So as you can see, I just put a little marker there exactly where that one needs to go. Otherwise it won't fit correctly. So it's just an easy way to make sure that you fit them in the correct sequence and in the correct holes. Uh, and then you actually put a little bit of uh, super glue in each of those holes and you glue this piece together. Spool complete, nothing really crazy. Uh, good directions. We're on to step four, the lay shaft assembly. This is bag D and everything you need is contained in bag D. Lay shaft complete. Pretty quick and simple. You do have to put an E-clip right there and right there to hold everything together, but they went on pretty good. Here's the completed servo mount and also the steering bracket. Now we're on to step six, motor mount assembly, and we start getting some things onto the chassis. Step six complete, the motor mount. On to page seven, and this is the suspension mounts. They're nicely labeled here, front left, front right, and the rear right and rear left. So it makes it nice and easy to just match them up with the manual. Now we have the spur gear completely attached. Now the car is starting to take shape with some of the bulkheads and we've got the top deck on and also the belts. Here's the chassis now with the rear diff installed.
So if you can see here in the back of the rear diff, that little square, that's just showing I put it just slightly in the loose direction. Here's the instruction showing loose or tight. And I'm just one click to the right for loose. Here now is the front spool completely assembled. So now it's time to test all of our electronics. So we're going with a Spectrum DX3 uh, controller, a Hobbywing 1060 ESC, a ProTech servo, and the fantastic to me, a Torque Tune motor. If you are still watching, please like and subscribe this video. We would greatly appreciate your help. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is turn on the new controller. Got that on first. Then you're gonna turn on your ESC. You wait just a minute for it to calibrate. And then you should be all set. So first little watch out from this build, everything's gone great. But one thing I'll tell you is don't put your servo in here before you put in this post. Put this post in first, then put your servo in because it makes it extremely hard to tighten that guy up. And you can see it kind of scratch the chassis a little bit and scratch the front of the servo a tiny bit, just trying to get some grip on it. Uh, otherwise it was just spinning from underneath the chassis when I was trying to hold it in. So. I was a little lazy not to take the servo back out, but uh, I had already completely installed it and didn't want to take it out. So it is possible, it's just not uh, very easy. And it doesn't really spell it out in the instructions, it just shows a bunch of screws, but I would highly recommend putting that in first. Here are the front knuckles, complete. Here are the front end assemblies completely built. So now we're here to attach the front camera links. I'll go here and here, and we'll get those set up. The front end is taking shape. Now we're moving on to the rear end assembly and we're starting to get close to finishing this car off. Here's the front arms attached. We're onto the anti-roll bars. I'm actually gonna leave these off because I am running this kind of in, on an unprepped outdoor area, uh, kind of just some parking lot stuff and I'm gonna run it without them uh, first. So I'm gonna move over to building the shocks. Here's the first shot completed. Here's the rear shocks attached to the shock towers and the shock towers attached to the chassis. And here's the car with the bumper on. Shocks mounted, I put some wheels on there. And now we're going to mount the motor and the electronics and start working on the body. All the electronics are now installed. And the car seems to be working just fine. <laughs> so now with the car completely finished, we'll turn our attention to the body. So we're gonna use this Tamiya Mustang GT4 body. And we're going with a Miller Beer livery along with the Ford GT4 sticker package. So the car was painted white, then backed with silver, 
And then the car has a red stripe in the middle and on the front matching a car that was run in the NASCAR series um, by Brad Keselowski. So we'll remove some of the now the window stickers and then the protective outer film. Here's a car with the window stickers removed, but you can see it's still a little hazy. That's because the protective outer layer is still on. So we'll take those off next. So you see here, this is the overspray film and you just pull that off to release the final paint job. And here's a car with the uh, protective film completely off. You can see now it's nice and shiny.